Okay guys, I don't know how this happened, but somehow we have less than a week to go until Christmas time. And as you just saw from that clip at the beginning of this video, the shopping season is well underway here in the city of Freiburg. In fact, Jonathan and I have been doing a little bit of Christmas shopping of our own, and we thought that it would be super cool if we actually shared with you the gifts and treats that we bring back from Germany for our American friends and family. Now, it's worth mentioning here, in this video, we're not gonna be touching upon traditional German souvenirs. Don't get me wrong, things like cuckoo clocks and beer steins are super cool. But for the Christmas season specifically, Jonathan and I like to buy gifts for our friends and family that really align their interests and hobbies. And the best part is that we can pretty much knock everything off our Christmas list by shopping right here locally. So in today's video, pretty much our entire Christmas haul comes from local vendors, manufacturers, producers, and designers that are located here in Germany. So if you have somebody still left on your Christmas list, whether they're young in age or young at heart, or maybe you're just curious, what exactly do Americans like to get as gifts from Germany? I think you're gonna find this video to be really cool. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Yeah, hey, uh, sorry, real quick. If your name is Don, Jerry, Susie, Erica, Maddie, Melissa, and Ellie, Travis, Megan, Riley, Peyton, or Kelly, Brent, and Bernie, and Wally, basically, guys, you know who you are. And um, in this video, you're about to see your Christmas presents and we really don't wanna ruin the surprise. So while we love that you love to watch our videos, um, just wait to watch this video until after Christmas. So if you could just go ahead and um, turn this off, that'd be great. Thanks guys. Uh, I'm serious. Turn, turn it off. Yeah, okay, thanks, bye. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Jonathan. And I'm Ashton. And along with our son, Jack, we're the Black Forest family. Now, at the beginning of this video, I talked to you guys about our German Christmas present haul. And it's quite the spread. We're pretty excited to give all of these gifts this year to our friends and family back home in the United States. And we're really looking forward to sharing them with you now. So our video today is gonna to be broken up into three parts. The first are children toys, the second sweet treats and snacks, and the third are gonna be some adult presents, including some adult beverages. And guys, as always, if you're interested in any of the products or the manufacturers that we talk about in today's video, we've written an entire blog post where we cover everything in our German Christmas present haul. So if you wanna find a direct link to their website, make sure to click the link down below in the description to learn more. All right guys, before we get started showing you our haul to take home for Christmas time, it's pretty important for us to point out we are not sponsored by any of no. these people. These are just really <laughs> cool items that we think our family and friends would like to have back in the States. So this is just what we picked out on our own. Yeah, this is literally the things that our family members are getting as presents. So we hope that you enjoy watching this video as much as we enjoyed shopping and hopefully just as much as they enjoy receiving all of these presents. Yes, for sure. All right, so the first present we'll talk about today is actually for Jack and this one is my favorite. It is this tractor right here. So I really love these German wooden made toys. This one is just fantastic. This company is called Fagus, um, made in Germany. But one of the best parts about these is they actually have complex mechanisms. The steering wheel actually steers the tractor. And also one of the coolest thing is it has a trailer hitch on the back so you can go and buy a bunch of different accessories and push it across the floor and you know do some work. Yeah, when we were at the toy store, purchasing this gift for Jack, the number of attachments for these things are just incredible. They have entire cranes and crates and um, like flatbed trucks and- it, Forklifts. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's incredible. It's really, really neat. I remember going into the toy store several years ago and I couldn't wait to actually buy the first one for Jack, just for Jack, not for me. <laughs> and then we'll be, I'm sure, buying plenty more over the next coming years. And I think one of the things that is just particularly heartwarming about this specific brand of wooden toys, because honestly, there are a number of them in Germany, and we're actually going to talk about a couple of more as part of this video. 
but Faga specifically staffs their German factory with adults with physical or developmental disabilities, creating just beautiful children's toys in the process. You know, they're really a company that we were happy to support. So next up on our list is maybe arguably the most internationally known German wood toy brand, and that is Grimm's Wooden Toys. Now, we actually have a couple of them here. They are these wooden geodes. And if you have ever been onto the Grimm's website, they have so many different wooden toys, um, from trucks to trains to figurines, blocks and rainbows and stocking things. It's, it's really just incredible. We were just kind of drawn towards these because compared to some of the other toys that we've seen, the irregular shapes just seemed really fun. And you know, really one of the things we love about these German made wooden toys is they just feel sturdy. They're very well put together. Mm -hmm. There's something that's gonna last really a lifetime and they also will begin to age the more they get played with. So, I mean, they're actually gonna build some character. These are things we prefer to buy over any, you know, plastic molded parts, you know, that just kind of get thrown into a closet or thrown away in the future. And you know, as part of that developmental education, it's actually pretty cool that the entire Grimm's collection is built off of the Waldorf education system, which I think is probably better known for like the Montessori education. Um, these are kind of seen as a staple for them for developmental play and learning. And it's pretty cool that their products aren't just play toys, but they're actually fun and educational too. So the third item on our haul is, surprise, surprise, another wooden toy. Um, but this one is actually from a company called Neek. And one really cool thing about this company, other than, again, another really high quality, well-made wooden yeah. toy, is they're actually located in our state, Baden-Württemberg. And they've been around for about 25 years. And, you know, we really like them because they offer a wide variety of children's toys like this and puzzles. And my favorite, they do have a good selection of wooden trucks. <laughs> we might have to have an assortment in the future. Yeah, and you know, much like some of the other brands that we've talked about, like Fagos and Grimm's Wooden Toys, one of the things that Nick, or Nick or Neek? Neek. Neek? I think okay. it's Neek. Is yeah. it Neek? Sure. Okay, yeah. sure. One of the things that Neek specifically markets themselves for is this kind of design by thinking and playing and learning all together in one. They want kids to be creative and to have self-expression. And I think that those are really some of the fundamental things that we love seeing in children's toys, that they're unisex, that they're fun, and that they allow the kids to really just sort of explore and have fun with their imagination. Okay, so the next item up on our haul is a present that's specifically for our nephew. Um, his dad is a bicycle mechanic, so you can tell that cycling runs in the family here. Um, but he's about four years old and he loves to just do whatever his dad is doing. And we thought that it would be a really fun gift if we gave him his own work belt and work tools so that he can work on bicycles or help his dad around the house. Um, and we were actually able to find this really cute leather children's work belt and tools from a company called Corvus. Um, they're actually located in a town called Kirchentelisfurt, which is a town that's kind of near Tübingen, which is south of Stuttgart in Baden-Württemberg. So the reason we really wanted to include this toy in our haul is because kids today are very glued to digital items, cell phones, iPads, all of that. And the point of this is a child's going to be able to learn how to use a mechanical tool mm -hmm. and work with their hands, help repair something and put something together, you know, just like his dad does. I mean, I love things like this too, and I, I'm sure he's really going to like it. Yeah, and he's old enough now to where I, we really feel like he can probably start mastering some of these things. And so as part of like this whole kit, we actually got him a couple of different screwdrivers. It's a Phillips. Yeah, a Phillips and a standard. It's a flathead. And a flathead? Which one's the standard? What do you mean standard? Isn't one of them called standard? It's Phillips and there's a flathead. Oh, I thought one was like a standard one. But there are no standards. <laughs> you can tell I work on the house a lot. But we basically got him a couple of different tools that are his size as well as a I don't know if it's really unique to Germany, if it's more European, but a tape measure. Yeah, these are, this is something like I, it took me a while to get used to it. In the United States, we don't have tape measures like this. We have the little retractable ones. So it really has caught me by surprise just using these all of the time. Yeah, but I think he's going to have a blast with this present. I mean, I'm an adult and I think we, we've had some pretty good fun just playing with them ourselves. So Yeah, he's going to love it. 
Okay, so on our Christmas list this year, we have everybody from eight months old all the way up to 82 years old. So our gifts really have to sort of span an entire range of ages. So for the very littlest one on our list, we got this really fun toy. And it's actually the only toy that is not German. It's just across the border from us. It's a French item. It's from a company called Dieco. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Dieco, Dieco, Dieco. Um, but they're a French-based company that creates all sorts of wooden toys and dollhouses and puzzles, which is pretty cool. And like I said, he's eight months old, so we really loved this toy because it's got different things that he can move and turn and play with, and you can actually attach it to the side of the crib. Or the stroller. Or the stroller. That's cool. Yeah, which is really neat. All right, wait a second. Ashton is a liar. That is not the only gift that is non-German. <laughs> I, I misspoke completely. Um, there's actually two more gifts that we have that are from this same French company, Didieco, that we bought for a couple of other nieces and nephews of ours. So I think maybe we should kind of keep this ball rolling with this specific company and cover them pretty quickly. Yeah, so again, this is the same company, Dieco. Dieco? I don't speak French Dieco? at all. Um, but anyway, uh, we have a grade school nephew. So we've got this wonderful little, what is this? Um, basically they can kind of create a marble run. So it's again, sort of along this line of puzzles and imaginary play and being really creative. It comes with 25 different pieces and they can set up all different obstacles to then like run a marble through and kind of create this like chain reaction oh, with things really falling. Cool. Oh, it actually it's 99 years old. But not, not 100. 100, not 100, only seven to 99. That's kind of funny. I don't know why. And we also have a niece who is in preschool and she is a bit of a girly girl. Mm -hmm. So we got all these beads which she can make little necklaces or bracelets. And you yeah. can probably explain this a little better <laughs> than me, but this is highly desirable, I've been told. Yeah, she's like Jonathan said, um, very girly. She loves to play dress up. She loves jewelry. And so when we saw this one at the toy store, we thought that it just screamed that this was the gift for her. Um, I think it's, again, a lot of fun. She can be pretty creative with it, and um, but she is old enough to where she can actually deal with these smaller beads and they're not a choking hazard for her, so. And actually make some stuff that's herself. Yeah. Cool. Oh, and one last little tidbit about this specific company because I think this is actually pretty cool. Um, it actually isn't very common to find gifts by this specific toy company, they only partner with toy stores that meet their very specific brand values. Um, one of them just happens to be the Hotsfeld. Oh, our favorite um, toy store in the whole world. It's it's just adorable and wonderful and oh, locally I could spend made. All day in there. Yeah, but if you are somebody who is from the United States and you want to buy toys from this specific company, we've been told that you can actually find them often at museum gift shops. So in London, you're probably going to find it at the Tate. And in the United States, we've been told that they do partner with MoMA. So it might be a long travel day to get the gift. So go to their website and see where you can find it. Okay, so the last item on today's haul for the children is this stuffed animal. Yeah. And I have to say, Germany makes so many wonderful stuffed animals. Yeah, they really do. There's so many different manufacturers. They're all made in Germany. This one specifically is from a city called Algoy. And then in 2000, no, 1993, they moved to Freiburg here. And then in 2009, they moved up to Berlin. Yeah, so the company name is actually called Callisto, and they focus on making ethically sourced, mostly vegan stuffed animals for children. So like Jonathan just said, there is a plethora of stuffed animal manufacturers in Germany. I don't really think one's necessarily better than the other. We just happen to fall in love with this really adorable stuffed dragon. It's oh. actually a, um, another present for Jack, and I think he's just gonna love it. Or is this a dinosaur? Oh, it's got little wings. Yeah, I think it's a dragon. It's a dragon. Yeah, it's really, sweet. really sweet. So I think he's gonna love it. I think so. Okay, so now that we've made our way through all of the children's toys, I think it's only fair that up next we move into the sweet treats and snacks. Now, the first thing up on our list is actually a specialty chocolate that's made right here in Freiburg. And I don't know about you, but for me, the adults are way harder to shop for than the kids. 
Um, it seems like adults, they, at least in our family, they kind of have everything. So we tend to default to buying gifts that are consumables. Yeah, some snacks. Um, so specifically the first one is this box of truffles. This is made by a company, like I mentioned, here in the city of Freiburg. It's a company called Gemina, and they're a specialty chocolate, tort, um, other sweet treat store that's located right in the center of Old Town, really close to the base of the Martins Tour. And I have to say, I think without a doubt, completely unpiased, it is the most beautiful shop in the entire city. It is beautiful. It really is. And it's also important to mention this time of year, we can buy all sorts of Christmas cookies. Also, Stollenbrot, which we aren't really fans of. I'm sorry, we're not <laughs> taking it home because we, we don't really like it that much. Uh, but they also have a lot of different like chocolates. Like they make Santa Clauses, they make houses, they make all of these yeah. things that will fall apart in our suitcase on the way home. So <laughs> you're not bringing them. This is nicely protected. It will survive. Yeah, I think this is a good choice for putting inside of our suitcases and packing it on an airplane. Um, but you know, honestly, if you happen to visit the city of Freiburg, even outside of the Christmas season, we highly, highly recommend stopping by the Gabina shop. Um, personally speaking, their key lime tort yes. is to die for. It's, it's Oh my goodness, it's my absolute favorite. And we usually buy a couple of mini torts for my birthday because I love it so, so much. So um, again, I, I hate to sort of be like overly zealous in this plug, but seriously guys, they're that good. I would say it's even delicious. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, so, so delicious. <laughs> so the next up on our haul is more chocolate. Uh, and I think it's important to point out, although they make some delicious chocolates here, you don't have to spend that much money to get something that's indulgent. Like these right here, these Ritter Sport things, you can just grab these from the grocery store and they are fantastic. They are so good. You can hand them out to all of your family at Christmas time and everybody really gets to enjoy them. You don't have to go and buy a specialty chocolate to have good chocolate. Um, the kids in our family love these so much because really we're the only ones who have any experience with German. So they love the fact, honestly, that the packaging is written in another language and they get to pick out of these assorted bags and try to taste test and guess the flavors of the chocolates inside. All right, so we're gonna keep the sweet train rolling and no list out of Germany for Christmas can be complete without the Haribo gummy bears. Mm. These are so popular here. Like there are gummy bears all over the place. I, I can't say I'm the biggest fan of gummy bears, but because they are so popular and the assortment is just so large, I mean, you have to bring some home and let other people experience them too. So again, these aren't expensive. You can go to the gas station where I got this actually. Yeah. And you can go to the grocery store if you can find them and you, know, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to bring gifts back home for your family. Yeah, and you know, I really should mention, um, we can buy Haribo bears in the United States, but what we can't buy are some of the more interesting and unique flavors that are kind of really unique to here in Germany. So we actually purchased three different flavors to share with the family. We have some cherries, some traditional gummy bears, and then some sour gummy bears that I think maybe might be pretty similar to Sour Patch Kids from the United States. Oh yeah, I guess so. And again, they're so easy to just throw in your suitcase and you can share with everybody. And you know, speaking of gummy bears, Haribo isn't the only type that we actually purchased as a Christmas gift this year. We went to this local storefront here in the city center called the Baron Company. Um, they actually have pretty inventive ways of presenting their gummy bears. This one is in a beer glass and they've arranged it to actually look like it's a, you know, beer with foam on top. but. We actually have a family member who recently turned 21 and he is a huge fan of soccer. So we thought it would be pretty fun to buy him in commemorating his 21st year where you can legally drink in the United States. Fake beer. With fake beer. Um, and it's an SC Freiburg mug. Okay, so last up on our haul today for the sweets and treats are these Kinder chocolates. There's really nothing much to say here. We just wanted to throw more candy in our bag for our family. I mean, us to eat when we go home. <laughs> and you know, again, I really feel that you don't have to spend a lot of money to bring back some of the joy and fun of life in Germany. Sometimes it's the everyday items that our families actually get the most amusement out of. Again, you don't have to spend five or six euros on a single bar of chocolate. No, something just like this can 
really bring a smile to some of the younger ones in your family. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on now to the third category, which are gifts that are specifically for the adult family members of ours. And I think the best place to start is with these bottles of wine from the Staatsweingut Freiburg. If you have ever visited Freiburg, you'll notice that there's this south-facing hill that overlooks Old Town that just has this really beautiful vineyard that climbs up the hillside. And in fact, there are actually a number of hillsides that are sprinkled throughout the city that are really mostly owned by the Staatsweingut Freiburg. As you know, Freiburg is a university town and these vineyards actually serve as research for the Freiburg State Wine Growing Institute. So as you know, I'm an academic and I felt that it was really only fair that we donated our bodies to research. Yeah. And helped them by doing some taste testing. Yes. Purely for scientific reasons, of oh course. We ended up buying three bottles of wine for each family. Mm -hmm. The first is Glühwein because Christmas is not complete without Glühwein. And Glühwein is really not very common in the United States. So it's only fitting we bring some back. The second bottle is a Weisswein because Ashton's mom loves white wine. So yeah. we thought we'd please her with this delicious looking bottle. And the third bottle, we got a red. Reds are our favorite, especially this time of the year. And we got mm -hmm. a Spätburgunder because that's basically what you can get in this area until you go out to the volcanic hillside, the Kaiserstuhl, where you can get some different types of reds. But Spätburgunders are very popular. So we thought we'd share what's common in our city back at home with our family. Yeah, and you know, actually, if you're interested in learning more about wine growing in the Kaiserstuhl, and actually more specifically in Freiburg, you can purchase wine from the Staatsweingut Freiburg at a number of local vendors. But the best place to buy it is actually to go to their shop in the Merzhausen neighborhood in Freiburg, where you can not only see their entire selection of wines, but you can actually go on pre-planned tours where you can walk amongst the vineyards and actually speak to some of these research scientists and actually working towards creating different types of grape growing plants that are more resistant and resilient, which is pretty cool. All right, so next up on our haul. We know that Germany is very well known for wine and for beer, but most people don't actually know that the Black Forest region and really all around Germany, there are a plethora of small batch distilleries. For example, three years ago for my birthday, Ashton yeah. took me to the Monkey 47 distillery not far from here and we had a basically a tour of how they make their gin and we had a wonderful tasting or two. And you know, ever since we went on that distillery tour of Monkey 47, we've actually had a lot of fun exploring different types of specialty drinks and distilleries, special liquors and other drinks that are actually produced here in the Black Forest. And that has most recently led us to our newest discovery, which is this product right here. Located in the Kaiserstuhl in the town of Butzingen, they take the fruit that is grown from the volcanic soil from this world-renowned wine-producing region and create small batch brandies, spirits, and other liquor. Yeah, so this gift specifically um, is meant for a family member of ours that we actually bought a bottle of Monkey 47 gin before in the past. So we thought that this trio here would be a really fun addition to his liquor cabinet, building upon his German-made products that he can indulge in. Yeah, more things that he is not gonna find in the United States. I really think I like it. Okay, so as we're starting to get a little bit closer to the end of this haul, we're gonna shift here a little bit from the adult beverages and actually go to a couple of adult gifts more specifically for women. So I might probably talk a little bit more about these because they're kind of meant for the girly girls in our family. Um, the first product of that is actually a collection of different face masks and this face cream by a company called Sans Souci. Now, don't let the French sounding name fool you. Um, their line of products actually comes from their cosmetic line located in Baden-Baden, which is just north of us. So if you speak German or you know anything about the German language, Baden-Baden um, is a town that is known for its thermal baths. 
and all of Sanssouci's products are actually made from the thermal waters and the rich nutrients found there within. So it's a particularly special brand of cosmetics in that not only is it very local made for us, but it's a line of products that are meant to be both rejuvenating and refreshing, building upon that really long-standing history of the refreshing healing powers of the thermal baths. And you know, last but not least, for those girly girls in our family, it would only be fitting that we also threw in a couple of fun cosmetic things that they can play with. Um, the first is some nail polish and the second is some lip gloss. Both of them are from a German cosmetic line called Art Deco. Now, Art Deco you can find in many international companies. It's not something that's solely found here in Germany. In fact, I'd actually heard about them before, but had absolutely no idea that they were a German owned company. And you know, I did a little bit of Googling and there's a couple of fun facts that I thought would be worthwhile to share with you. Um, the first is that this is a company that's very much committed to sustainability, not only in their ingredients, but their manufacturing facility in Germany is 100% solar powered. But even more than that, in terms of sustainability, one of the things that I found to be super cool about this brand is that even in the very beginning, all the way back in the 80s for this company, 25% of all of their products were refillable because they were committed to cutting down on plastic waste, which I think is really commendable. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so that wraps up our German Christmas present haul for this year. Before we let you go, we actually wanted to ask you guys, what is on your Christmas present haul list for this year? What are you buying for your friends and family back home? Yeah, do you have any suggestions for us for next year for other German-made toys or gifts that we're missing here? Let us know down in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, we would love it if you hit that thumbs up button and for more content from the Black Forest family, hit that subscribe button. So, until next time, bis bald. Tschüss!